In this video, I'm going to turn on my brand new Amazon Fire TV for the very first time. So let's get to it. So I plugged in the Amazon Fire TV and after the splash screen, it immediately searched for the remote. And apparently it did not find the remote because I'm getting this message here. It says searching for your remote. Try placing the remote closer to the Amazon Fire TV pressing the home button on the remote for five seconds, and then of course inserting fresh batteries into the remote. If you watched my previous video when I unboxed this, I actually put the AAA batteries that came with the device in the remote, so the batteries should not be a problem. What I am going to do is I'm going to get a little closer to the device itself, and I'm going to press the home button on the remote and it should pair. Now I do believe that this device and all of its remotes, whether it's the actual remote or the game controller, are Bluetooth devices and that's why it has to pair. So let me hit the home button here, or at least hold it for five seconds and there we go. Apparently it paired and it says Amazon Fire TV, press the play pause button to start. There we go. Okay, it says your Amazon Fire TV requires an update. Please do not disconnect from the network or unplug the power cable while we download the update. Now, I had to put an edit in there because I had to sign into my home wireless network, and I generally just edit that out. So as you can see right now, it's connected to the home wireless network, and it's actually downloading the latest software. So I'm going to let the device do this, and I will join you on the other side of that. Hello, and welcome to your new Amazon Fire TV. We want to make sure that you get the most out of your new streaming media player. So we're going to take a quick tour together that will teach you all about your Fire TV. Fire TV lets you stream a huge amount of entertainment, and the Amazon Fire TV remote lets you access it all. With voice search, you can access the entertainment you love with just this remote and the sound of your voice. It's really pretty cool. Let's get started. Just press and hold this button at the top of the remote, wait for the prompt on screen, and say what you want to watch after the tone. Life of Pi. Your choice shows up instantly. We take your voice information and process it in the cloud to deliver better, quicker search results and to help improve your experience. Use your voice to find movies, TV shows, actors, directors, film categories, even games and apps. No need to say commands like search or play. Just press and hold the voice search button. Say the name and Fire TV will give you the results you're looking for. Hugh Jackman. Press here to select what you want from the voice search results. And the Fire TV remote is simple to use. The home button takes you to your Fire TV's home screen at any time. And press the back button to return to the previous screen. Press here to navigate up or down, left or right. Press the center button to select. With Fire TV, you can watch hundreds of thousands of movies and TV shows, access exclusive titles, play games, and even listen to music. Fire TV even makes recommendations for other movies and TV episodes that you might enjoy. You can add them, and any movie or TV show you want to watch later, to your watch list and access it on the home screen. Just click right here. If you're an Amazon Prime member, in addition to the shipping benefits and the Kindle Owner's Lending Library, you get unlimited access to 40,000 movies and TV shows all at no extra cost. Not a Prime member? No worries. Right after this video, you're going to get a chance to sign up for a free 30-day trial, so you can try it for yourself. Next up, gaming. With Fire TV, you can play some really fun games. You can use the directional buttons on your remote, or you can use the Amazon Fire Game Controller, sold separately. If you have a Kindle Fire HDX tablet, you can start a video on your HDX, then fling it to your Fire TV and start watching right where you left off. With Amazon Cloud Drive, you can store your pictures and personal videos in the cloud. Then with your Fire TV, you can access those pictures and videos anytime you want on the big screen. Okay, we've just scratched the surface of what you're going to be able to do. If you want to watch this video again, or need more help, go to Settings, and click on the Help button, and you'll find what you're looking for. Thank you, and enjoy your new Amazon Fire TV. So that was really a great little introductory video there. 
pretty much explaining all the functions of this device. Now, just on a side note, the device itself has a light on it, on the front of it. A very small light, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Again, this is a very inconspicuous device, and it fits nicely in my entertainment center. But anyway, here we're greeted with, it says Amazon Fire TV. Your Amazon Fire TV is designed with kids and parents in mind. Parental controls allow you to require a pin before playing videos from Amazon or purchasing videos, apps, or in-app items using Amazon OneClick. Your selection below will apply to Amazon purchases and videos on this device until changed in settings, parental controls. So I don't really need any parental controls. I don't have any children. My children are cats and they're not going to be watching anything on this Fire TV anyway. So I'm going to select no parental controls and let's see what we have here. So as you saw in that little introductory video, this is the user interface. Now on the far left you have a filter. We're on home right now and you can go to recent and as you see when I select that it makes it larger and I can scroll through that by pushing to the right on the directional control on the remote. As you can see we have get started with Amazon Fire TV, top prime movies and TV, and top apps and games. Let's just click into that real quick and you see we have YouTube on here, Netflix, you don't know Jack Party, Pandora, Crackle, Hulu Plus, Watch ESPN, Vivo, Frequency, Revision 3, iHeartRadio, HuffPost Live, Vimeo, Daily Burn, TuneIn Radio, NBA, AOL On, Magisco TV, Thuz, Ninja Hero Cats Premium. Again, these are uh, a lot of top apps and games. And if you're familiar with the Amazon App Store for Android, this is what is available. Now, one thing to note, this device does not have Google Play on it. But the Amazon App Store for Android is probably the second largest Android market anyway. So you're going to find a lot of the same apps that you would find in Google Play. So let's hit the Home button here and go back. And actually, let's stay on the Home here. And we have recently added to Prime. And as you can see, it's a very snappy device. This is a quad-core processor in here, and it's clocked at 1.7 gigahertz per core. So not only that, but as you saw in the video, a lot of this is done on the back end on Amazon servers. So it's incredibly fast, faster than pretty much any streaming media box I've ever used. And probably the only thing comparable to it would be the PlayStation 4 in speed. And let's click into there, and, and you get the idea of, of pretty much the layout of the user interface on this device. Now, I'm not really into it, but uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition is available for this device. So I know that's pretty big out there, so that might be a selling point for you or somebody in your family. Sev Zero actually comes with the device. So Sev Zero is a free game with the device here. And um, I don't know if I have to sign in or if I'm already logged into my Amazon account. I don't know. But uh, let's see what else is available here. Featured movies recommended movies and TV, top movies on Prime, top TV on Prime, shop new release movies, top free games, recommended apps and games. So let's go over to the filter on the left here. We were on home. Then you can filter it down to movies, TV, watch list, video library, games, as you can see, Sev Zero is already in my game library. And as I scrolled through some of these things here, I noticed that this is already associated with my Amazon account. So I didn't have to do anything to sign in. It's just already out of the box signed into my account. So we have apps down here, photos, and then settings. So we dive deeper into the settings here. 
can go into your account, second screen, applications, parental controls, controllers, and system. So this device is built on top of Android, and this is the Fire OS. And as you can see on the settings here, there's really no sign of Android here. It all has an overlay, a new user interface, and I actually think it's very user friendly, and I'm pretty happy with it. I bought the original Kindle Fire, and I thought it was a great device. It was a little bit slower than the comparable Android tablets at the time, but uh, this is actually a pleasure so far to use. I haven't actually played anything on here. But here's the voice search, so let's try that out. Again, what I'll do is I'll press the button on the remote here, and I'll say what I'm looking for. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. There we go. Let's try another one. Walking Dead. Pretty cool. Let's try an actor. George Clooney. So the accuracy on here is really great. And it really saves you a lot of time from having to type all of this stuff out. So let's look up American Horror Story. And I'm going to actually select that. And here we go. These are the options to watch American Horror Story. There are three seasons available. I think there were only three seasons. Let's see what we got here. We got season two. Again, this is very snappy and very cool. Let's go over to seasons here. And hit the wrong button there. Up, over, down, and over. Okay. So if I wanted to watch the most current season, I'd have to buy it from Amazon. So Amazon offers, as you saw in the video, it offers Prime streaming. So if you get Amazon Prime, it's a one-time fee you pay every year. And it just recently went up to $99 that you pay every year. And what you get with that is you get free shipping. You get lending on Kindle Books, although I don't really uh, buy Kindle Books. And then also you get streaming. You get free streaming of, I think they said, 40,000 titles in the Amazon Prime library. So anything that's in that library you can stream for free. On top of that, such as something like this American Horror Story, you can purchase the episode or you can purchase the entire season. Or if it's a movie that you want to watch, you can purchase a movie. You can also rent content from Amazon. So if you wanted to rent a movie, and the prices vary, but if you wanted to rent a movie, Generally, it's around $3.99, but it could go higher. Then you would rent it, watch it on here, or any other Amazon device, or your computer. And like any rental service, online rental service, you have a finite amount of time that you could watch it in, and then it's no longer available, unless you rent it again. So really, it's a soup-to-nuts offering, and this device, as you saw, offers Netflix, Hulu+. Plus. These are also other video services that you can watch content from. So, so far, I really like the looks of what this device offers. And I always thought that Amazon should make their app available on different players. Now, to this point, I think it's only available on video game consoles and the Roku and some TVs. In fact, this TV offers Amazon Video On Demand. But this is a more specialized device, and on top of all that, you get the gaming aspect. And we'll check out one of those games in a second. So let's just back out of here. And let's just go up to search here. Okay, so you can go at any time to search. Of course, you have the back button, self-explanatory. Let's try the menu button here. Okay, the menu button is not working. I would imagine it only works under certain circumstances, depending on what menu you're in. So let's go down to Netflix here because I do have a Netflix subscription. I'm going to download that. And you might notice it says that I have 1,000 coins. I actually got 1,000 Amazon coins, and that was for actually purchasing the game controller. And apparently a coin, one coin is worth one penny, so those 1,000 coins are actually $10 worth 
of uh, Amazon coins. So let's check out the Netflix app here. So as you can see here, this is what the Netflix interface looks like on this device. And it is not the most recent Netflix interface. This is the previous Netflix interface to the current one. But I use this on my Blu-ray player a lot. It's very usable, very functional, and I like it. And it's very snappy. Add this to my list. It's very snappy on this device. So let's hit the home button here. And let's see what we got here. Let's see the Sev Zero. Now this is the game I have that uh, came with the device. And I assume it will download in the background. This device is definitely powerful enough to do that. Now I wish I could actually show you some of the content. But I'm not interested in getting into any copyright infringement problems here. So I'm just going to have to report it back to you in a future video. Now generally these days when I do a series of videos on a streaming media box like this, I'll give you three videos. I'll give you the unboxing video, I'll give you a first time look video, which is this video, and then I'll give you a review. So probably in a week or two I'll give you a full review because I'll, I will be using this as my primary streamer down here in my living room. So any content, anytime I watch Netflix or anything like that, it'll be through this device. And I can give you a better idea of what I feel about it. And I'll, I'll, I'll play some games on here too and let you know what I think about that. Now the games I shouldn't have any problems showing you, so I will show you that one game I'm downloading now. So while that's downloading, let me pair the controller with the Amazon Fire TV. Now, the controller, as you've seen in my previous video, or if you want to see it, check it out in my previous video, it's very much like an Xbox 360 controller, except it's a little more angular, but it's very comfortable to hold in your hands. Now, from my understanding, it is also a Bluetooth controller. And if you want, you can purchase this controller to work with your Kindle Fire HDX. So, not only will this controller work with the Kindle Fire TV, but it will also work with Kindle Fire HDX tablets, which is nice. So here we are on settings. Let me scroll over to controllers. And let's see. Bluetooth gamepads. Click on that. And paired gamepads. Let's add a gamepad. And let me try that again. I will hold down the home button on the gamepad for five seconds. And it's searching for the gamepad. And there we go. Select this gamepad from the list to pair with Amazon Fire TV. So, pairing the gamepad. And there we go. Battery's okay. Version 65, whatever that is. And then if I want to unpair it, I would hit the menu button but I don't want to do that. So, I'm going to try and control this device now with the controller, the game controller, instead of the remote, because pretty much you have all the same functionality on the controller. So, let's hit the back button here, and there we go. So I'm hitting the analog stick, and that's actually the left analog stick, to do all the motion here, the moving between different menus. The right analog stick doesn't work. If I press the analog stick, that doesn't work. Let's see if the triggers work. No, triggers don't work. How about the A and the B button? Okay, the A button selects. B button is back. So, similar to what you would find on a game console, the A button is select and the B is back. So, let's see if we can go into the Sev Zero game here. And it just started raining outside, so I don't know if you can hear that or not. But let's check this out. Amazon Game Studios. In the early 22nd century, Earth had depleted its energy resources. Dark matter, a miraculous new energy source, was found in the asteroid belt and outer planets. It saved a dying Earth. An alien species, the Neatu, remotely infected Earth's new transsolar energy grid with a computer virus. Their plan? to disable our space-borne energy weapons as a prelude to invasion. 
a 16-year-old computer savant, Amy Ramanujan, neutralized the alien virus and saved Earth. Dr. Ramanujan, now 23 years old, is currently testing a prototype neural interface on the Nader 4 dark matter refinery. As for the Neatu, thwarted from afar, they have crossed the vastness of interstellar space to physically take the dark matter energy network, which is just a short jump away from Earth. So I turned the sound down a little bit, as you saw there, the intro to this game. And uh, it's very interesting to actually, you know, play a game on a streaming media player like this. I know I played on the Ouya, and I really enjoyed that. I know a lot of people hated the Ouya, but I actually like it. And uh, this is actually a cool experience to play on, I wouldn't call Amazon an indie game company, but, uh, you know, it's off the beaten path. It's not your regular Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo. So I'm not going to show you a lot of this game. Again, I'm not interested in getting into copyright problems. I just want to kind of give you an idea of what quality of game you can expect on this device. And so far, I like it and I'm impressed. So I will probably edit this a little bit to just uh, give you a little taste of what's going on here. But um, I won't be you know, doing a full walkthrough on this. So let's give it a start here. So apparently this is a tower defense style game. You have enemies coming in to the core and you want to stop them with these different turrets at these points here. So not only do I have towers here, but I can get on the ground. So I would say so far, uh, just from playing this one game, that the gaming is comparable to games on the Ouya, although I would expect a little bit more out of this device because it's a newer device, number one, and it has Amazon behind it, which is a huge company. So they might be able to publish a lot of different uh, games that Ouya, being a smaller company, might not be able to push through. I'm not a huge gamer. Again, like I said earlier, mostly I do my gaming on a computer. If I game with a friend, it's uh, generally on an Xbox 360. But I am going to try this. I'm going to try out a couple more games. And again, I will get back with you and uh, give you my full impression on this device when I've had a little bit more time using it. So let me hit the home button on here. And let's see what we have here. We have summary achievements, leaderboards. That's the Amazon Fire TV so far. My first impressions are that there's a lot of potential here. I'd love to see a lot of interesting games published for the system. As far as the video on demand that's available for it, I love Netflix, I love Amazon Video On Demand, and I'd love to see HBO Go on this device. Now supposedly there are rumors that HBO Go is in the works for the device, but as of the filming of this video, it is not available. Now, there were some rumors that this device was going to be a TV dongle, and I'm glad it's not, because although dongles have their place like a Chromecast, I do prefer a dedicated box like this. It would have been interesting to see if Amazon would have come out with a Blu-ray player, since Amazon does sell physical media. In fact, that's where I buy all of my 3D videos from. But I can understand why Amazon went with this, probably because they'll sell more of these and there's no moving parts in it. So that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up, favorite this video, or share this video. And keep your eyes peeled because in a couple of weeks, I'll give you a full review on this device. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.